Hi, welcome to Kiran Testing Academy. I am Kiran Kumar. Let's talk about a very interesting Selenium related interview question. A most commonly asked interview question in Selenium regarding locators. So in the interview, they may ask you, what's the best locator in Selenium? Or they may ask you, can you explain the sequence of locators of your choice? Means what locator you are going to use first, second, third. What's your sequence? Or they may ask you, according to your experience, okay, what locator is fast and reliable? So this kind of questions you may get in the interviews. So if what is best locator in Selenium, if this question is really asked actually, straight away saying there is no perfect answer for this because every locator in selenium has its own importance that's true every locator but anyways if they asked you in the interviews so you need to explain them right yes so as i said every locator has its importance so a lot of people do say css as best locator okay yes because once you well written CSS or if you write a CSS in a proper manner, so that can be used across any browsers. It works on all browsers without fail actually. So that's the beauty of CSS. Some people do say as XPath. Why? Because if it is a complex element, okay, element is dynamic. In that case, we can use XPath and how much complex a element is, okay, using XPath axis or regular expression in XPath. We can identify that okay so everyone has their own justification to say which locator is best yes indeed they are correct in their way okay but how to answer this in the interviews what's the best locator in selenium okay so now let's move on to the selenium official website once and let's talk about that selenium.dev is an official website of selenium let's move on to documentation and this let's select web driver elements locators and you know we have eight types of locators isn't it id name link text parcel link text tag name xpath class name and css so these are the eight types of locators what we have in selenium okay we all know it now let us see here tips on locators correct so just let's click on that now it has taken you to the page where it helps us understanding locators okay tips on working with locators now in the very first line it says that in general if html ids are available okay it says that if html ids are available means if id locator is available and unique and consistently predictable means if you have id and it's unique and it's considerably predictable so they are the preferred methods of locating an element on the page because that tends to work very quickly it clearly states that id is fast okay and generally preferable locator but what are the cases if id is unique and available okay so most of the cases id will be unique but some cases id is dynamic in nature okay if i if you get id now okay if you refresh the page you'll get a new id so in that case it will not work right so if ids are not available or if ids are not unique okay or whatever the reason if you are not using id what's the next option okay a well written css is a preferred method of locating an element So even XPath also works as well as CSS selector. Okay. So next is CSS or XPath. That is what your Selenium says. The first is ID because it's fast, smooth, reliable. Next, CSS or XPath. Okay. Now here, whenever we talk about CSS and XPath, yes, they are excellent locators. Okay. As I said earlier. If you CSS, okay, 
once you write a css a well written css okay you can run in any browser without any problem it will work okay and even this is also a bit fast css is also a fast selector only xpath okay xpath is also an excellent locator okay and the advantage of xpath is xpath itself is a language correct and using xpath we can identify dynamic and complex elements by writing regular expressions or by giving xpath access correct yes so this xpath selector or very flexible even though it is flexible okay failing of this xpath locators is quite high it may fail in some circumstances okay so that's the reason generally selenium prefers id css and xpath okay again this is what according to this documentation okay but you need to explain in the interviews you need to justify because everyone has their own perspective on the locators okay i feel xpath is very much best because i play with xpath axis okay we use lot of regular expressions while we testing an application we have very dynamic elements in that most of the cases we'll play with xpath so that's our experience that's our expertise okay same like that some people do like css they use a lot of css in their web pages because they need to do cross browser and class perform testing in most of the cases okay yeah so the thing is that every id is excellent but according to the selenium so first is id because it's simple easy works very well okay next if id is not available in that case we can select css or xpath okay that's what this document says so thank you so much i hope you have understood the concept if you like my video please subscribe to my youtube channel and if you want to have live sessions with me please connect me on kirentestingacademy.com thank you so much